This is Gideon 2, the children's Sunday school lesson for May the 2nd in the year 2021. Well, Wednesday night I talked to you about Gideon and how God asked him to go do this job, but how he was so filled with fear. He didn't know if God really wanted him to do it or not. And so remember he laid out that fleece and he asked for it to be wet and the ground to be dry. Well, now he has gathered together his armies and he has brought them to the place where the battle will take place. And he looks out across there and sees the Midianites and the Amalekites. Those are the enemies. And there are so many. He says their camels were as many as the sands on the seashore more than you could even count and the enemy's armies were so many that it looked like a big horde of locusts all over the the valley as far as he could see there were enemies and he looked at his 32,000 men and said hmm I don't have very many men to fight all of those guys and God said, no, 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 Gideon, you have way too many men. But I only have 32,000. Nope, this is way too many. If you go into the battle with this many people, everyone's going to think that you won the victory instead of me winning the victory. So you have to get rid of some people. You go tell your men that anybody who is afraid needs to go back home. So he went and told them that. And 22,000 men left. Gone. 22,000. All he has left is 10,000. He said, all right, now this is going to be really a hard battle, Lord. You only have 10,000 men left. And God said, Gideon, if you go fight this battle with 10,000 men, everyone's going to think that you won the battle. And I don't want people to think that you won the battle. All the credit has to go to me. All the glory has to go to me. I want you to take the men down to the stream, down by the spring. And I want you to have, have them take a drink. And the men who lay down on the ground and lap it up like a doggy would are supposed to go back home. And the ones who pick up the water and bring it up to their mouths, those are the ones that I'm going to ask to stay and be in your army. Oh, I hope not very many of them go home. I hope lots of them don't leave me. Well, whenever God tested each man, 9,700 of them drank water the wrong way. And they needed to go back home. So Gideon said, leave all your supplies here. I'm going to need some jugs. I'm going to need some torches. I'm going to need some trumpets. So they left those things. And he is left with 300 men. He had 32,000. He has 300 men left. That is not very many. To fight an enemy that is as far spread and as populated as the locusts that land on the ground with camels as many as the sand and the seas. And then God said to him, if you are still afraid, you take your servant Pura and you go down into their camp tonight. Sneak down in there like a little spy and see what's happening. So he came down off the mountain and he snuck in after dark and he heard one man saying to another man, hey, I just had a bad dream. Can you tell me about the dream? And um, he said, well, what was your dream? He said, I saw a loaf of barley bread roll down off the mountain, land on the tent, and collapse the tent flat. The other man said, oh, I know what that is. That is Gideon. God has given Gideon and his men permission to destroy our camp. He's going to come. It's going to happen. That is what your dream means. And when Gideon heard that, he went back up the mountain. He said, let's go guys. Let's go right now. So he got his 300 men. In their left hand, he put a pitcher, like a clay pitcher that you'd pour water out of. And inside that clay pitcher, he put a torch that was on fire. Okay. 
and in their right hand they carried a trumpet a ram's horn trumpet so they had a trumpet and they had a pitcher and they had a torch and they're ready to go into battle wait a minute when you go into battle are those the kind of weapons that you take oh well this is what God told them to do. So they surrounded the camp of the Midianites and the Amalekites. And then Gideon said, you do what you see me do. He said, when I say go, what you're going to do is you're going to blow your ram's horn. You're going to break your pitcher. You're going to hold up your torch and you're going to shout for the Lord and for Gideon. So that's what they did. They stood around the outside of the camp. And they broke their pitchers, crash, and held up their torches and doo -doo -doo, for the Lord and for Gideon. And then they watched what happened as the Midianites and the Amalekites killed each other down in the camp. They didn't do anything. And then they started chasing them and the Midianites and the Amalekites ran home. God did it. God did it. No one else. It wasn't Gideon's strength. It wasn't because Gideon had a strong army. God got them out of there. God says to us, when you have a problem, you take that problem and you give it to me. He says, commit your way to the Lord and trust in him and he will do it. You got it? Commit your way to the Lord and trust in him and he will do it. It comes from Psalm 37, 5. Let me pray with you. Dear Daddy God, when Gideon thought that it was absolutely impossible to fight that battle with just 300 men, you did the miracle. There are lots of times, oh Lord, that we have a problem that's way too big for us. And if we give it to you, you can take care of it for us. Help these kids to know that when they have a problem, the first thing they need to do is to pray and to give it to you and let you take care of them. In Jesus' name, amen.